Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. We are making the rounds in Warren County. Now we're in Waynesville, and this is considered antique capital of the Midwest. Yes, is that it how is. it goes, Pam? It is. It and is. I would also say a girlfriend getaway. Right? It's a great place for girlfriends to come. Lots of different things to do, uh -huh. lots of shopping. We have approximately 60 shops in Waynesville. You're kidding no, me? Up and I'm down not. this strip? Up and down this street, 60 shops. And you can cover them all in just a few blocks. And then, of course, we have the Hamill House, a cute bed and breakfast, great place to stay. How fun. And I'll be your hostess when you're there. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Hamill House is a very friendly place. Now, I hear it's haunted, it's that friendly. <laughs> it is, it is. Oh, uh, Waynesville is Ohio's most haunted town. However, Hamill House is Waynesville's most haunted building. However, there's nothing that's going to send you screaming into the streets. <laughs> okay. Our, our most prominent apparition is a cat. And most people just think the neighborhood cat has jumped into bed with them when we don't have a cat. There is no cat. <laughs> just in case. Keep that in mind. No cat. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um. So antiquing. How was that? Because we have a lot of Clevelanders who love to antique. So what are some of the stops to make? I think probably your first stop should be Foreigners. Even though it's not an antique store, it's a wonderful shop. Everything there is unique, and um, they do lots of furniture and home accessories. There. Very fun. I think I'll go there first. Yeah, Pam, enjoy. nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Chris. All right. See you later. <laughs> All right. I found the cutest little place in Waynesville. No kidding. Oh, it's your place. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I, Foreigners Woodshop, I'm here with Molly, and you are just a delight. Well, thank you. It's you, so nice to have you here. Gosh, what a beautiful town. Oh, isn't it fun? It's charming, and it's. I have customers that tell me it's their happy place. So. I, I can see that. And Pam was just telling us about how it's really into antiquing, but yours, I, it looks like a little more upscale. Yes, it's kind of our Waynesville with a kick. Yeah. yeah. We don't do antiques, but we have a lot of new things. My husband's a woodworker, so he makes a lot of the pieces that we have here, and and uh, we've added home decor that's a little more trendy, and it just kind of blends in. Yeah, and a lot is local artisans, is that correct? Yes, we feature some So tell some me some of the artisans. other ones. This is Polish this is pottery. Pretty. Now this isn't local, but okay. it's um, collectible. It's made. It's hand painted, made in Poland. That has holes in it. That's, to that's put never your, good for a bowl. That's for your fruit. You wash your fruit in it. Really? Yeah, so a little colander and. So it's very, very popular, it's collectible, and we love having it in the store. Where are some of the local, the local stuff these around here? These stone bird houses here. Oh. Um, these are made by an artist up in Sydney, Ohio. His name is Carl Beck. He calls them bird castles. I love that, look at that. I know, they're quite unique. And then our planters out on our front steps are also by him. This furniture here is a, a, a chair by a local artist, a local woodworker here in Waynesville. His name's John Madden. Would you look at that? Oh, it's so comfortable. <gasps> oh, it's what got grooves think? in it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And look, once you hold onto the chair, your fingers go right in the little and cracks. And your head can relax. And um, so we're going to start carrying a few of his pieces. And he does commission work. He's um, he's very very talented. We're excited to have his work in it's our store. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going to the back before I fall asleep okay. in that chair. Now talk to me about your. Uh, your husband's little wood shop. Oh. First, I want to know who's drinking all the wine here. Well, you know, somebody's got to do it. So. Right. <laughs> got to. We need the corks. Do so. you need a new job? No, apparently. <laughs> yeah, we we buy corks from a company down in Texas, and uh, they've actually never been in a bottle of wine. But these are our one of our signature items. They're our wine cork bulletin boards. I love that. Aren't they great? And then a customer gave us this idea. We started putting pegs on the bottom so you can hang your keys on the bottom of them. So my husband does those, he does the wood shelves, um, he does uh, wooden serving trays. This is a beautiful one with hickory and walnut. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And our newest item is right over here. These are our new chalkboards that we're making. And Chalk, I haven't seen one of those in, well, a long time. They make, there you go. I like that. And they can be ordered in different sizes and in different finishes. And um, yeah, we're real excited about having them in the store. Whatever. I love it. <laughs> Those are very cute. All right, you have to come see Molly. Where's your husband? He's on his way in. Oh, but we just I've got missed him. him. I've got him busy in the workshop. Okay, <laughs> he's busy. Maybe we should go help him out. There you go. All right, we have more from Warren County coming up.